Hi, uh, this is a tutorial on how to make a pad sound. Um, I'm just going to use Massive for now, but you can make a pad sound in pretty much any synth whatsoever that's got two or more, or, or even one oscillator. Um, Massive's good for it, Zeta, um, FM, synthesis is very good. I'm going to show you how to make various different types of pad sounds very, very quickly. Uh, what I've got here is a saw wave and another saw wave. Go to one oscillator or two. Slightly detune them or change the waveform from. Sign. Okay, so let's just stick with the saw at the moment. What I'm going to do is have a quite a sort of like trancey thin saw. If you notice, I've altered the pulse width modulation. I've also assigned, oh well, just LFO, um, it could be anything. Just sign an LFO to um, the oscillator pitches and the pulse width modulation, possibly a little bit of the filter gain. The filter is just low pass, as you can see at the moment. Um, and here's the important bit, the ADSR, Attack Decay Sustain Release. And this is where you can get your uh, pad sounds. And what am I doing? What am I doing? I am bringing that up a little bit because the pitch is a little bit too wild. There we go. Okay, I want to sign the the filter cut off to the modulation wheel, so I can now do this. It's starting to sound more like a pad now. Unison, Unison just doubles it up and also is great for widening the sound. Well, there you go, you can hear that. You can also pan oscillators left and right and everything as well if you wanted to go ultra wide. Good thing as well is if you wanted a sub oscillator as well, you can do that. If I wanted to create a fifth, um, a fifth pad, then there we go. So we can go. Okay, let's change the ADSR a little bit because it's a little bit slow. If I wanted to, I could add an, a sub oscillator. But I don't necessarily want that. So that's how you can create a pad sound. Um, always good for a little bit of reverb as well. You can always add a little bit of reverb as well if you want to. And there you go. down from fifths so and if we want to thin them out a little bit more we really can To. Just add a little bit more sharpness there. See, that's quite a nice pad. Just by changing the ADSR on it. You can get a totally different sound. But even just by changing the waveform to a sign. It's quite good. You can use high 
snapper saw, you can change the amount of harmonics as well. With a lot of these synths now, you've got a million different types of waveforms. And there you go, it's very Roland Jupiter 8 sort of thing there. Okay, so you're getting the idea now. Um, again, I can turn this oscillator off, I can add more. Good thing, changing the filters up as well. We've got various different modes of filters. Lots and lots. You've got analog overdrive, you've got different types of saturation that you can use here. Um, what you can also do is you can go to bandpass, create a really thin. sort of sounding. Um, pad. So we're getting there. Wanting more bell hollow type things, and again, you can go back to your saw wave, and wavetable is good for creating strange sounds. It's almost like a, a violin or a string. Um. Lots and lots of different types of pad sounds. There you go. Uh, that's pad sounds in the virus. But you get the idea. I use this synthesizer because it's really laid out. You've got two oscillators, third oscillator, sub oscillator, you've got unison as well. And the unison's really good for widening up the sounds. Uh, dee -dee 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 -dee. Pads. Okay, if there's any specific pad that you want me to try and show you how to make, then give us a shout. Um, but they are very, very simple once you get to know how to use them. Anyway, alright, that's it. End of tutorial.